Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having an inbox review of Trumpeter's 135th scale Soviet T64 AV mod 19. 84. Uh, now this is a relatively new um, tooling. It was new tooled in 2012. So you know we've got some nice new plastic here. Really cool uh, box art. We've got that reactive armor with this as well. Um, so let's just take a look inside. One second. Set myself up. Right, uh, packaging with this kit was actually rather good. I mean, we got all this separately bagged stuff as well as we got some foam around certain, um, you know, delicate parts. Right, so all that's good. Right, but let's take a look at the first few parts. Let's just jump straight into the turret because the turret is nice. Right, we've got some nice surface texture going on there. Uh, really, really good texture very sharp nice recess panel lines recess rivets i mean that is looking well smart if you ask me on the inside yes we have got ejector pin mice but we're not going to see um, any of that really uh, moving along we've got our um, sort of like turret ring area here top of the the hull um, sort of nice smoothish plastic going on here um, not really seeing any flash. We've got some fine bits of um, detail going on here as well. All sorts of pretty cool um, sort of detail. Um, and again, you know, this is looking like a nice new mold. It is, as I say, a new kit and everything. Um, and you can see that in the detail that we've got here. We've got our um, hatches going on as well. These are quite well detailed as you can see as well as the main gun got some good detail going on in there we turn over the hatches yes there are eject pin marks inside there so um you know you, you're probably going to want to uh, take care of them if you're going to sort out that however i mean in some cases ah, like this one here uh, these two pieces here go on the inside of there to cover up those eject pin marks that is rather cool um, next, next with this particular kit, this is where we get our reactive armor. We've got all this stuff to whack all over the model, um, and it really does pack it out big style. Um, the only thing is, I mean, when it comes to spraying and weathering, you, you may want to have all these bits of reactive armor actually not on the tank spraying them, weathering them separately, and then gluing them on at the end, or you might want to try and sort of tackle the fact that uh, trying to get in and between all these bits of reactive armor is going to be um, a bit of a pain um, i do have uh, there's and that's the thing as well with this kit there are so many um, sprues with it there are just loads and loads of different sprues lots and lots of detail to go on here so i'm leaving a lot of it bagged just to sort of speed things up we've got a gun mantlet in that one um same as uh, this is a double um, sprue um, now we have the tracks with this which um, looking at the tracks I mean they do look very crisp very smart well detailed um, you know not seeing any problems with them we've got no ejector pin mark problems or anything like that the only problem is with these is well it's, it's either love it or hate it, it depends upon um, how you like it, but um, because it's sort of like we've got this one big long track and this one's going to be touching the ground, it's flat, okay? Um, which that kind of gives you the problem. If you want to put this tank on a diorama and you want to have it um, sort of looking realistic, the tracks, it's not going to look realistic with these tracks especially the top the top's going to be just nice and straight there's going to be no sagging in it so um yeah i personally don't like those kind of uh tracks um just some more more um sprues here more reactive armor um yeah some road wheels here i did get one of these out to show you there's loads of, there's about five sprues of these road wheels because there's quite a few road, road wheels to get through um, and bringing you in um, as you can see you know we've got some good detail it is crisp um, and again no flash and i do like these tiny tiny little um 
handles that are going on here those are very very fine those are and you know no flash on them which is brilliant um yeah there's one or two ejector pin marks on the back of here but they are in places that don't really matter we've got our road wheels here um we've got two sprues the same with that um and on here we've got our road wheels and then we've got all sorts of tiny little bits and bobs which are you know i mean the tiny stuff on this i do like how um, a lot of the tiny stuff on this is looking so smart crisp neat tidy no flash um hopefully as you can see there lots of tiny little parts which are gonna look good on the model in the end um bringing you out again uh, we've got some fuel tanks which is rather cool as well fuel barrels um and then we've got our uh, machine gun our top machine gun here um yeah the detail is looking good with these again just like the rest of this kit very crisp detail very nice tidy no flash um ejector pin marks are in the places that you don't really mind um yeah this is really good molding from uh trumpeter um you know in a 2012 new tool release it really is showing in this so definitely a good kit now this kit does cost around about the 38 pounds mark here in the uk um you know we've got some more bolt detail going on just in here as well looking rather cool yeah but as i say that was uh 38 pounds here in the uk so um do you know what? that's quite a fair price it's actually a rather good price i mean as you can see there's so many sprues so many bits of plastic here's our hole i thought i'd just leave that in the bag there is a bit of um clear parts but yeah so much plastic for your money so much detail going on here as well we've got our side skirts as well here which have got a nice sort of ripple going along there and quite thin as well which is the way you want it um oh, some injector pin marks this side but you're not really going to see them i'm going to say 38 pounds sounds like a good deal is a good deal so much plastic so much detail you know you could sort of leave it at that but then um actually what they've also done is thrown in some photo etch i'm just getting here so let's bring you in i've thrown in some of this uh photo etch nice bit of extra bits of detail um but not just one fret but there's also another fret which gets even bigger uh, more detail hopefully you see in there some gun ring around the gun mantlet there and bits of mesh and everything but then they also throw in another piece of photo etch. so actually there's a lot of photo etch that's just been put in this kit straight off the bat um, and looking rather good yes okay it's not eddard photo etch but um you know trumpeter's photo etch isn't that bad actually then we have our decals which when it comes to armored vehicles it's no big deal um it is white writing looks like they'll go down quite nicely um but i'm assuming having all these different numbers allows you to number whatever tank so in the end we're probably only going to put down about six decals so you know not bad um then moving along to our last little bits here with this kit um yes we do have a painting and markings guide here where we're going to put the decals what we're going to paint what um and it does look like we can just number up this tank to be any tank in the soviet union so um coming along to our instructions which are good old um sort of basic you know not mega good quality paper but you know it gets you there in the end um and throughout this of actually i mean there's probably not much point showing you um the instructions because it is really a basic typical um armored vehicle construction here is the the track links which is showing you where all the tracks go um and as you can see you kind of you know you build it up like that but as i say you won't be able to get no sag on the top you won't be able to kind of follow the contours of the terrain if you do a diorama with the bottom track uh you know that's why i don't like these but they should st they do look damn good uh, um, um track links just you know you, you might have to do a bit of modding with it um but that would be a bit more harder than um using other stuff but as i say um you know going through these instructions you know it is very um typical um armored vehicle construction 
there's not really much of uh, i mean there is this i must say um, the option to have your gun slightly pointing up or pointing straight um, you know not having that kind of mechanism in there allows you to kind of push it up and down to whatever level um yeah, you know yeah that's a, that's a bit of a, a downer but it's not a big deal really to be honest with you uh, and there we go not much um, to really write home about there with the instructions so all in all i think this is an absolutely fantastic kit it's a bargain at 38 pounds or well 37 pounds 99 or whatever it was um and you know for a brand new tool loads of detail loads of plastic um you know no flash whatsoever a load of photo etch to go with it as well um I, I don't think you can really beat it this is top class um kit right here by trumpeter so if you're into um t64s this is definitely a kit for you so um hopefully you've enjoyed that so until next time my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i hope you've enjoyed <laughs>